Sagittarius. This is Lucky with Lucky Seven Zero. Thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel. This is going to be your August 2022 general reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Remember, these are general messages and not every message will resonate with you. If it does, great. If it doesn't, please check your moon and rising sign videos for a more complete message or feel free to get a personal reading. I do have them available on my website this month. There's there's a limited availability, but they are available. So if you want to check that out, my website is lucky 7 and I will put the link in the description box below. And that's just because it is my channel's birthday month. So happy birthday to my channel. All right, guys. Remember, these can resonate for you in the reverse. All right. Uh, especially for cross watchers. Okay. And some of these messages, I might be explaining it as if it's your energy. It can be somebody else's energy towards you. So keep that in mind. All right. I do feel like um, some of you guys are either there's a true friend that you're relying on or coming into your life, or you are being more loyal to somebody. You're being loyal to someone or somebody's being very loyal to you. All right. So I don't know. Some of you, you could have family drama or like people that you have drama with that are in your circle, in your tribe, and you know, the people that you surround yourself with, maybe even friends. Um, I also see some type of bad news or possible bad news for some of you. Um, this could be involving somebody's health, whether it's mental health, physical health, or emotional health. Um, feel like there's something here that you know like your intuition is telling you something specific you know it and you might find out that you're right about it this month okay um, I'm also feeling like some of you guys have some type of wealth or abundance coming in maybe through stocks or some type of investment it could be an investment of your time an investment of your money your resources okay I do feel like this is gonna make you really really happy I'm also feeling like some of you have success in everything that's going on in your life. Like, I feel like things are going to be changing for you for the better. Some of you, um, if your current conditions in your life are like unpleasant in any way, I feel like the future conditions of your circumstances are going to be much better. All right. This for some of you could even predict marriage coming up or some type of proposal. Um, I'm also seeing prosperity come up for you. Okay, something that makes you feel abundant. So those are good things, I feel like. All right, let's see what the tarot has to say. What messages do you have for the sign of Sagittarius? Sagittarius, your very first message is the Six of Wands. We like that, all right? I feel like a lot of you are um, moving on from the past. Okay, there's a there's something that has caused you to feel like you have to protect yourself. Okay, um, you also have the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, I feel like there was something that wasn't working out for you, and maybe you are having to like sit back by yourself, figure out how you want to move forward. Okay, you have the Empress. Some of you, I strongly getting some sort of surprise situation it could be a surprise pregnancy for some of you um or a surprise new opportunity some of you this is a situation that falls apart um or you're recognizing what is built on sand here now this could be your job where you know you're leaving behind one opportunity or one situation that maybe you felt abundant with before and there's a new opportunity for things to grow for you that come in out of nowhere, all right? Um, you have the Page of Cups. I feel like some of you, this could be a love offer from Leo. Some of you, there might be some drama surrounding a child or somebody that you love that you have feelings for, okay? There could even be two separate opportunities when it comes to this situation. I feel like some of you guys are trying to temper the chaos. All right. Wow. I said that and you got the temperance. Okay. So there's something you're trying to bring, be patient with and bring balance into your life. I feel like you haven't had any real significant forward movement. 
because some of you guys have had to make sacrifices and walk away from certain things. And you have the Ace of Swords, so there's going to be some type of clarity you have, all right? Possibly surrounding something that either didn't end well or is not over yet, okay? Could even have to do with like your own mother or some type of emotion you have towards a situation. What's the challenge for Sagittarius? The challenge is the Ace of Cups. Some of you, the challenge has to do with a new love or a new opportunity. Maybe you're not feeling satisfied or not feeling happy with the situation. A lot of you I see are giving to something, but there might even be a situation here where there's more than one person or more than one, I don't know, somebody has more than one option. Let's see, what is the outcome for Sagittarius? The Knight of Cups. So there is an offer coming up. An opportunity with somebody is, I feel like, holding back from a love offer or holding themselves back, on, feeling like they're held back or on hold from an opportunity that's coming up. So it could be like a job off offer, a job opportunity you've been waiting on. Uh, we'll see. Clarify these messages for Sag. Sagittarius, I do feel like some of you guys have felt stabbed in the back you know, betrayed even. There might even be somebody you're not talking to because of this. I feel like someone here is definitely moving on from, from this betrayal or this disappointment. I am also seeing a new job opportunity or new opportunity that comes up for you that's very stable, Sagittarius, okay? There is something here. Um, I feel like you guys are going through an ending in your life. And there's going to be a new offer, a new opportunity that comes up for you. This could even be something that has to do with you traveling or moving in some way. Okay. Hmm. Somebody you have a lot of love or affection for, I feel like is being sneaky. Could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, maybe a Taurus or Libra, Aries for some. Let's see if I can get more information on this. Some of you guys are having to let go of something you were um, holding on, trying to hold on to really tightly because I feel like there's going to be some sort of truth that comes out and is revealed regarding this situation, okay? Um, and I feel like this actually does bring things together for you in some sort of battle. What else? Some of you, I'm, I'm feeling like there's communication that I feel like you guys find something out or you're told some sort of truth either about a child or having to do with someone younger. For some of you, this is somebody telling you the truth about how they feel or you expressing your true feelings for them. But it's like there's going to be this release of a weight or a burden that someone here is carrying. Okay. I see you guys finally starting to see things clearly, maybe even seeing another fire sign for who they are. I feel like there's going to be some sort of risk involved where you have to invest yourself all right, in order to bring balance into your life, in order, there's something about needing to be patient as well. Yeah, there is definitely some truth or clarity coming out as to why something is unbalanced or some of you, it's like there's this situation where you didn't have stability in the past and there's this new opportunity coming up for you that does have stability attached to it, that does, you know, something long-term. Tell me more. You're gonna have to cut the strings from the past because there is some, I think, I feel like there's some truth as to why something is not coming together, all right? And a lot of you, this is gonna bring about the necessary changes that you need for the better, okay? With that Six of Wands, that was also your first card out. Why is the Ace of Cups the challenge for Sagittarius? Hmm. 
You've got the Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck, which could be your own energy. You've got the Eight of Swords reversed, the Page of Cups, and the Ace of Swords reversed. I feel like somebody here uh, may not necessarily be honest about their feelings or may not be telling you how they truly feel. There's also maybe some a child lying to you or you, I don't know, you lying to a child or lying about a child. This is for Sagittarius, so um, I feel like some of you guys are going to need to really break out of your own head, get out of your own thoughts when it comes to this situation and be ready to take action because you have all everything that you need within the palms of your hands, okay? Some of you, I feel like um, mm -hmm, there could have been somebody maybe even lying about the birth of a child or paternity of a child. Maybe there's some secrets there, some things that are hidden. All right. Tell me why the Knight of Cups is the outcome. Wow. All right. The Will of Fortune in reverse. And you've got the Knight of Cups clarified by the Knight of Cups, the Hierophant, and the Three of Pentacles. Some of you, you have more than one offer. And you're going to have to, whether this is an offer of love, which is what I'm seeing it as. Some of you, this is an offer um, for a job. You may have more than one opportunity, people wanting to come together with you. But there's something about you having to make a choice to commit. Now, for some of you, this is, I don't know, you making a choice between letting go of the past and moving forward or somebody doing this to you, okay? I do want to see, tell me about the higher font. Yeah, you're going to have to figure out what you're going to give your effort to, what's worth you investing yourself in. I think this is, this is definitely a big decision for you and you're about to find out, maybe have some clarity here. Some of you, this has to do with an Aquarius or another fire sign, maybe even a Scorpio. All right, regardless of what the sign is, I am seeing you guys have, an op have options in this situation, all right? You're gonna have to figure out what direction you wanna go in. What's gonna be best for Sagittarius? What else? Oh, no, let me use this deck. What other important messages do you have for the sign of Sag? I feel like there's a partnership or somebody from the past that may come up for you. Okay. Some of you guys are trying to move on, maybe even trying to be single or focus on being happy in the present moment, but I see there being a new love option or opportunity that comes up. Somebody here is frustrated with the relationship. There might be jealousy issues or ego issues um, having to do with the relationship. And someone here does not want to be in any sort of competition, okay? I see you guys healing from a heartbreak or finally gaining a, some type of freedom from a toxic relationship or connection with somebody. There might be feelings of love for someone from the past or somebody from the past is still showing up in, in your reading like they're, um, I don't know. I do see things coming to light and a lot of you guys, there could be a relationship that's growing, a relationship that is healing for some of you coming up. Let's see, and a real, I'm getting like a relationship evolving. All right. Some of you, there's an ending having to do with uh, somebody that you're close to, maybe a friendship, family members. I feel like there's things going on behind the scenes within your home or somebody within your home, maybe not telling you the truth. There's a change in your relationship. For those of you who are in a relationship or a change of relationship status, change within your family relationships for some. 
some of you have this fear of losing out on money or wealth because of a, another person. I do feel like you're worried about some type of blessing. There's like a fear of a blessing that's coming in. There's somebody that could even be locked up or just really stuck in their head. They may be like going through some type of depression over an ending. I don't know. Somebody could be lying about a family, lying to a family member, or lying about a family situation. I don't know what the hell this is talking about. Sagittarius, let me know in the comment section, like, if this is even resonating. Some of you guys are working on a relationship or a partnership of some type, and it may be costly for you. Maybe, I don't know. Somebody could also, I don't know, you could be meeting somebody at work that could cost you your job. Some of you are focused more on your relationship than your money. Some of you, your relationship is affecting your job like or affecting the money and resources. I feel like if that's the case, some of you, there's somebody that is working hard to like, I feel like somebody's money is affecting the a relationship is affected by money. I don't know. Take it how it resonates. Somebody could be using somebody for money. Um, I'm also seeing a decision be made that there might be a change in your home. There could be a woman with a child that is very stressed out or that is creating some stress in your life or... I don't know this is a woman that has a child or there might be maybe this is you feeling stressed out with your ch children mm, I am seeing you guys concerned about either a legal situation or I don't know there could be some worry about your finances but I feel like there's gonna be something that you've been waiting for doing a lot of thinking about that comes up for you some of you are thinking about somebody that you're not talking to. Or there's somebody that's thinking about you that's not talking to you, not telling you about it. Take it how it resonates. All right. Let me see what's coming up for you guys. Mm, using this deck here. What else can you tell Sagittarius? Some of you are meeting with someone or you could be meeting somebody about a move or a change in your home, making changes to your home. Some of you have somebody coming to visit from out of town, possibly, or you're going to see somebody out of town. That could be like a change in your environment. I do, Las Vegas could be significant for some of you. I'm also seeing um, somebody in denial. They don't want to face the truth about somebody taking chances, taking some type of risk. I feel like there could be some agreements that are reached regarding a child or somebody younger. Someone is in a relationship or using a relationship for money. Like, I don't know, there's a certain person in your life that may be using you for money or vice versa. Uh, like somebody is choosing a relationship because someone is financially stable or well off. I'm also feeling like your emotions kind of go up and down because somebody, mm -hmm, someone could feel stuck because of a pregnancy. I feel like somebody is still paying attention to you online. I'm also seeing You get a wish come true. Somebody meeting up with you that maybe you haven't talked to in a while or finally clearing the air with somebody you haven't spoken to in a while. I 
I feel like somebody doesn't want to face the truth about some type of pregnancy or birth of a child. I don't know what that's about. I'm also feeling like some of you guys, you might come to some type of an agreement with someone that you love. I feel like there is someone intervening in a long-term relationship or commitment. Someone is lying regarding their family. There's like, or someone is like not being honest regarding family or family ties. I feel like there is someone here that wants to reconcile with you, wants to communicate, that may be reaching out, maybe somebody that you weren't talking to before or that will, I don't know. There was like a block in communication in the past. some documents being signed somebody is avoiding like I feel like someone is avoiding a pregnancy avoiding getting stuck with some type of I feel like somebody's trying to get away but someone here is trying to keep them stuck with either a pregnancy or like you know, it's like someone is trying to get away, but then there's, they go through, there's like manipulation involved to where they can't let go in some way. I don't know how that's playing out for you. It's like somebody trying to keep ties. I don't know. All right. What's happening for Sagittarius regarding finances for August? The world. So there's some big changes. Some of you, this is like changes with you may be moving, you know, that type of thing. Some of you, your intuition is really heightened. Like you could even make money, you know, being psychic or whatever, listening and trusting your intuition. You have justice in reverse. Some of you, maybe there's a legal situation that's not going in your favor or you're feeling like, you know, things are unfair within your career, your job in some way. And you have the devil Capricorn energy. Lots of major arcana, the world, justice reverse, and the devil. All right. I feel like there's something here that's causing you to feel stuck. And I feel like it may even have to do with, for some of you, some type of addiction. Maybe it's stuck in a toxic work environment. Some of you are gambling. Like, there could be something going on with, like, feeling stuck because there's some gambling there. We'll see in just a minute. What else can you tell Sagittarius? Now you have a card of unemployment. So some of you may be unemployed. You may be taking on a lot more responsibility here. Okay. Some of you guys, maybe you're just thinking about quitting your job, but you have a lot of responsibilities coming up. I see you guys maybe no longer spending money like you used to, kind of holding tight on, on your pockets. Okay. Um, I do see new keys. So this could be keys to a new home, a new asset of some kind. I feel like a lot of you are protected, especially for those of you who are working in a toxic work environment. All right. Let's see. Wow. Some of you are ending one business to start a new one, or it's like there's some type of ending that's beneficial to you where you're gonna end up being higher up within a company or working more independently is what I'm seeing. There could also be a boss that loses their job that's beneficial to you. Um, I am feeling like you guys feel as though there's a lot of chaos surrounding, surrounding your finances. Somebody with a lot of ego, I feel like there could be opportunities being discussed though. Somebody may be trying to get away with something like undermining you at work or trying to take money from you in some way. It could even be somebody like some of you guys are 
finally going to be able to get away from something that you that was like toxic for you and you're able to like put that money towards something that has a lot more financial benefit for you what is it that Sagittarius needs to work on say what you mean speak up speak your truth mean what you say and say what you mean there's something that's missing within you all right you have hole in the soul so there's something that maybe you're feeling like just not working out for you some of you guys are focusing more on the way you look physically okay or you're focused on outer appearances rather than the you know like somebody's inner like what who they are on the inside okay I feel like some of you guys do self-sabotage and that may be what you need to work on Maybe some of you are dealing with somebody who self-sabotages as well. You need to pay attention to the signs that you're seeing, okay? Let's see what songs may be significant for you, Sagittarius, for the month of August. Mm, Billie Jean by Michael Jackson. And then you have Shake It Off by Taylor Swift. So listen to the lyrics of those songs. There may be something significant in those songs this month that... Um, that are pertinent to your situation, okay? Your advice, be fair, all right? See things for what they are. Don't make any unfair, you know, unfair decisions. Don't be afraid. So there's something here about you not being afraid to make some, some sort of decision here. Don't let someone get comfortable with disrespecting you, all right? Make sure you are creating healthy boundaries and that you're standing on those boundaries. Spirit is telling you, don't waste your time. Time is your most valuable asset. It's the one thing that you can't get back and you can't replace. This shall pass. What you're going through is a temporary situation and it's going to pass for you, all right? But you may need to go where you feel most alive. Be around people that give you good energy, that make you feel good about yourself and your circumstances, okay? That's what I have for you guys. I hope this was helpful. Please be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you're notified when I go live and when I post new videos. I love you guys and I hope you're loving on yourselves. Until next time, bye-bye.